I'd like to introduce you to three short videos about calibration. Calibration over the years has become uh, a necessity for some and completely um, irrelevant for many others. As shipped, the analyzer comes complete with a set of calibrations that works as one of the very few um, industry standards, and that is the underlens filters uh, produced by Ilford, Agfa and Kodak, of which now just the Ilford ones survive. For many users using Ilford paper, this has produced satisfactory results straight out of the box without any need of further calibration. And it's a testimony to Ilford's product that it's consistent from one box to the next and from one year to the next and doesn't alter uh, to an extent that you can actually detect on the print. For other customers using uh, perhaps colour enlargers with uh, colour filters in the head or different papers and developers, there's a great deal of variation out there in the market and there's no way that we can anticipate what your particular combination of product and materials is going to do to the actual contrast and exposure of a print. And for that reason, a degree of user calibration is required. There are two main types of calibration. There's one where that you do it yourself um, and using some small tools like um, a transmission step wedge and some reference tiles, you can calculate the correct exposure offsets to be put back into the unit and the right contrast setting to put in the unit. And a more advanced way of doing it is to take the step wedge that we now supply and you can also buy from us and make a series of special contact prints and then you send the prints back to me and I measure them using a densitometer and some software and provide um, a bespoke calibration that you can then enter into your unit. So this business of calibration is split into two sections. One is the do-it-yourself version and the one is um, producing the prints for the calibration service. There is also a fourth short video that describes the unique characteristics of the Multigrade 500 head and how we do calibration for that because that is uh, a special case. To do any type of calibration we recommend that you use a couple of pieces of essential kit. With new analyzers and zone masters we now ship it with a transmission step wedge and a reference tile and in addition to that you're going to need some form of test strip maker. Um, I think Patterson still make them and I think perhaps Kaiser do. I made my own which is just a series of black fingers that I can drop one by one on top of a print and basically just control the light onto a little bit of the print and not on the others. It's used for basic test strips and we use it to take the step wedge and contact print it onto the paper. Although you can, if you want, cut up your printing paper into separate slithers like this one here and just contact print it a little print at a time. The advantage of using a test strip maker is that when you develop the print uh, you develop all the test strips at the same time for the same length of time in the developing trays which gives some consistency. The other thing I mentioned was a reference tile. The reference tile we produce ourselves and it basically has a black and a white and a key tones at the end of the grayscale, the off-white and the off-black. And these are used for telling you which of your test strips has the right exposure and for also helping you determine the contrast setting for user calibration. A little bit more about these test wedges. They're available in a number of sizes and options. The one that we now supply um, is a thin negative um, about five inches long with densities ranging from zero to three which basically allows us to lay down a 10 stop exposure range on photographic paper in one go. This is a very long and thin one and obviously it produces a very long and thin contact print which is handy for measuring papers. If you're trying to measure negative exposure and want to test your films um, you can also buy from Stufa a much larger um, test wedge which produces a much larger print and these prints are very handy for measuring either medium format or, or large format film exposures uh, by photographing them on a, a light box and you can, you can determine exposure and uh, developing settings. But the other thing that I would 
Another reason why I'd hardly recommend buying one of these is it offers insights into how the paper works with your particular developer. For instance, we've had a number of customers send in um, their calibration wedges um, for their particular paper and we can quite clearly see flat spots where a number of um, subsequent exposures over maybe a one and a half stop range in the middle of the paper just doesn't have any variation in tone and that would for some prints go be a disaster because there'll be no tonal separation so it gives insights as to how the paper responds to different filtration and different exposure but also um, if you're into toning and split grade toning you can take one of these test prints made from contact printing the test wedge, you can tone it in your chemicals and you can see how the split toning is going to work across distinct tones and it can give you um, some guidance as to what the best settings are for the bleach time versus the toning time etc. And so as a tool these little test wedges are invaluable for both um, printing and also for negative development and exposure.